Hi everybody, my name is Jean-Pierre Museau, I am at Clermont-Ferrand, the Centre of France. My institution is a Centre for Higher Studies in Civil Engineering at Paris called CHECK. As this presentation doesn't concern a scientific research, but a network devoted to the teaching of steel construction, it is quite different from most of the other Eurosteel ones. This network is named APK, which is an acronym for something like Association to Promote Education to Steel Construction. In the following, I will use the French pronunciation APK to be simple. Loïc da Silva, my co-author, manages the design office named INEXOM, and together we share, we share the APK. Where is it possible to find efficient tools to improve lectures? If many websites concerning steel projects are available on the web, most of them have not been designed to be used in order to prepare a lecture. In France, the APK has been created to fulfill that goal, to provide both tools and materials to improve teaching about steel construction. On the one hand, the APK is a network whose aim is to share teaching resources, on the other hand, it offers possibility to academics to meet with professionals in order to be together more attractive for students. This diagram shows most of the steps to be graduated in France. It is slightly different from the Bologna scheme, but I will not spend time about that as details are provided in the paper. Learning steel construction is possible at each stage of the previous diagram, all of them being associated to different qualifications and diplomas but how to interest students when, as in France, concrete construction is so attractive. Here, I do not follow the same order as in the paper, as it appears necessary to start by the SDEP program. SDEP was the first large European program and the real beginning of exchanges between European academics concerned by steel. The SDEP aim was to create different materials to help it teaching the Eurocodes, which were at that time a new set of standards it was in the 90s. SDEP contains lectures, work examples, slides, videos, and a software. Here you can see some drawings and photos coming from SDEP. Based on the ENV version, it has not been updated and it is not fully usable as it is, but a large part of its contents remains very interesting. For instance, it explains some mechanical background of different relationships used in Eurocodes and it contains several interesting chapters about the history of steel construction, for example, that I had to use very recently to make a lecture at Czech. The APK was created in 1991 by Jacques Brosetti and Pierre Bourrier. Their main goals were to link academic, whatever the teaching level is, from secondary school up to the PhD level. As they being started in 1990, Another of their goals were also to create a task force to be able to write lectures and to be prepared to translate into French the huge amount of material described before, for instance, the 6,000 pages. This is the first APK logo and the current one. What is proposed by the APK? First, a journal whose name is Cahier de l'APK. It provides work documents and PowerPoint presentations, work examples, case studies, drawings, slides, and videos about real projects. Obviously, as it is a French network, most of the resources are provided in French. When it is necessary, the APK put money on the table. It may also represent academics in front of the French Ministry of Education. Up to now, 85 issues of the Cahier de la PK have been disseminated. At the beginning, they were paper-based, then provided on CD or DVD-ROM, and finally downloadable from the APK website. A USB key containing the full set of the APK journal, more than 40 megabytes, is proposed to the new members. The last one contains issues from number 1 to number 80. The next one, which is expected in 2022, will propose everything of, uh, until number 85. Four books have been published under the guidance and the financial support of the APK. 
The two first one represent something like the essential of the SDEV program. And the two last one, which has been written more recently, are used as textbooks by students. They contain what is to be known to design a simple building according to Eurocode 0, 1, and 3. Each four years, the APK organizes seminars to improve the content of the teaching program in France with the following ideas. How to answer to the requirements of the steel construction industry. Other meetings are devoted to much more specific workshops. In fact, some things is organized each two years. Due to the pandemic, the next one will be organized in March 2022. And if the subject is not fully decided yet, a focus about sustainability, deconstruction and reuse of elements seems credible. This kind of event is very beneficial and really appreciated by both type of participants, about 50% academics and 50% professionals. The APK was a very efficient tool to disseminate the European programs in France. Most of them are reminded here. And this presentation gives me the opportunity to present this program to the young Eurosteel participants, those who probably do not know anything about them. I already spoke about SDEP, and you can see here the cahier containing some of these programs. It has to be noted that among the different institutions which were involved, the University of Sheffield was one of the most active, and it is my pleasure here to acknowledge them, all my colleagues and friends from Sheffield. After SDEP, SETA was the second efficient European program. It exists in English and French, but also in Greek and Spanish. It was a training program to use EC3 and EC4. CESTRUCO was provided in 2003 under the responsibility of the Czech Technical University, and it remains available on its website. It concerns structural connections, but it presents also very interesting results from the Cardington fire test. The EC ECCS lexicon was under my responsibility. It contains the translation of 4,000 technical terms into 12 languages, and all of these terms have been translated and checked by specialists from each relevant country. The other programs are just named here, but all of them have been disseminated in the Cahier de l'APK. Stilcal was a European program started in uh, 2000. Its aim was to provide high-level multimedia tool to for teaching. It was expected to contain several modules, including modeling, fabrication, connections, and so on. But as I know, it, uh, it was never fully achieved and never disseminated. As the module about modeling were considered as efficient, it has been transformed into a set of PowerPoint presentations, close to 1,500 slides, that I finalized and shared through the APK under the name of Stilcust, because Stilcust was the name of the College of Engineering at Clermont-Ferrand in the past. This tool is largely used by several French academics now. The APK provided a lot of technical photos, about 5,000, illustrating buildings, bridges, and so on, but also showing some details that uh, we have an example here of uh, this kind of connection at the top uh, right of the of the slide and most of them can be easily used to illustrate lectures some other examples with as you can see a stadium a connection detail again and a very large greenhouse more than 100 meters in diameter in the, it is the same for movies. This one has been made by a French colleague from Périgueux to demonstrate a structural behavior under seismic action. Some games have also been created to increase the interest to steel construction among the students. This is the game board of one of those, which is a sort of combination between the snakes and ladders, Monopoly and Trivial Pursuit game, for instance. Or this one, who wants to be a stillionaire? It works at the real game, who wants to be a millionaire with three kinds of help, the classical ones. The only problem is uh, you do not get any money if you win. What could be the future of the APK? 
of course, to continue to disseminate teaching material and to help the silk and silicon industry with students graduated in that field. Another important tool is to finalize an update website with new possibilities, interactive maps helping to locate the academic institutions as well as the steel companies and design offices, but also to publish employment opportunities and to inform about the available internship for students, for instance, and all the classical things in a website. Well, the APK is now 30 years old and it appears to be very efficient. Obviously, most of the resources are in French, even if the English version of the European programs are included on the USB keys. But the photo, pictures and some videos can be used abroad without any problem. It was imagined, let's say 20 years ago, with the SCI in the UK and the University of Cottbus in Germany, to create a European APK whose name was the ESEP Society. Due to financial problems, the idea has not been finalized. But why not to think about something like that again? The APK demonstrated that it is possible to share pedagogical tools and how to beneficial that could be. So, why not to consider to create a European APK? If you agree with that proposal, we are ready to cooperate. Thank you very much for your attention.